I am going to do the last part of this um, album, um, homemade album at home. The last part I'm doing is uh, biting up. What you need is 12 inches ribbon. The size of the ribbon is 3 by 8 inches. You need 12 inches. Just cut them up. Make sure that you're using the lighter to cut them in all the uh, fuzzy and after you cut it. So let's see if I have any level. You're going to using this particular ribbon. To thread them into the hole of your, let me show you how what I, I just, I'm going to read you with everything, okay? Using this particular ribbon, to thread them through all of your pre holding using this scoring paper, align them up together, put them through. You thread them all the way through the whole bunch. Like this. Okay, using your paper score, apply the um, the whole bunch. Thread them through. Okay, holding the whole stack. Using the this one to light up the circle. Go again using the score to light up the circle, thread them through. So you got one side in, right? Now you're going to using the ribbon to thread them to the last, the outer circle. See, same ribbon. Go them through, put them through the circle. If it doesn't go through, you're using this particular score paper to put let them through. You know, you got everything lined up together. Leave, just leave it on the side. You need two pieces of paper. And you cut them. You want one of these samples. You cut them up. Exactly the same size with the, the album paper. What you're going to do is you mark them with your pencil and you cut them up. You need two pieces. Two pieces, one for the front and one for the back. First one and using the first one as a template to cut one more piece. The second piece. The front and the back are to be the same color. 
because it will make your cover look nicer. See, you got two pieces, right? And you're going to use the scissor to cut a little triangle at the four corners. Okay, like that. And you use one of the sample. This particular little piece is on top of the open circle. You keep falling off because they are not attaching to anything. So make sure that you keep these pieces along because they are because they are this is the extra piece reinforcing the ring to stay longer. The plastic fits out. It doesn't stay long, so you need the pieces of paper in the center to keep the circle stay stronger. So, using the sample, placing your pre-cut inside to punch two holes. You need one only, one page to be punched. The one at the bottom of your The one at the bottom of your um, album needs to be hole punch. The top one doesn't need it. It just needs to be cover. So you put that, the first one, into the packages and now you're using this particular the one put it in together in the package to make it a base you're going to tie them up like that just tie them up make a knot a couple of times Okay, make a knot a couple times like that. So when you see these extra pieces, cut them off. And using the lighter again to smooth out all the frozy. So now you have the whole packages of these uh, albums binding together by a ribbon. What you're going to do is, you're going to be using a double side tape to put in the back of this page, paper. And then you peel it off, you apply it to one side of the, the album. You apply it to one side of the album like that. So that will stick together. The second pieces, you're going to apply on top like this to make it complete. So now, after you double side tape to put it in here, you got, and up you're going to have like this. See, you're hiding all the ribbon. Now you're going to have this particular album. And I like to using this particular uh, album for horizontal picture because the picture can be slide in and stay very sturdy. If you're using the vertical picture, it's okay. It's okay, but uh, if you want the picture won't fall off from the uh, the pieces. My suggestion is you put a double side tape in this paper, you pull the paper out, you pull the paper out, right? 
you want to stay strong and sturdy. No, some of the, some of them can be cool, but some of them doesn't. So let's take a try another one. Nope. I think you just slide a vertical picture in and then they will work fine. But uh, the best picture holding for this particular album will be vertical, horizontal picture. So you just put your picture in there and this is how it looks. Um, I adding another border on the side. I'm using another piece of paper to cut along you know I'm using probably let me give you a measurement about I make it two inches width I cut it two inches two inches and one inch to make it a nice border and I glue it over so it would be uh, the main cover and after that I'm using my ribbon to cover them up. I'm using the ribbon to cover the seam between the two colors. So hiding my, you know, my glue. So that's how you make your border. See? Using the ribbon to make the border. So this is my um, final look of my um, homemade album. I'm using this particular for vertical horizontal picture. This one is 25 pages photo album. So if you have any questions, I know my instruction wasn't that detailed, but um, sometimes um, when you're working on the album, if you have one, um, if you have in my of the style you want to do, that would be great if you don't. Do you need to, you know, get yourself a lot of scrap of paper just in case the cover is not strong enough? You want to do a second cover to make the cover strong. So my this particular folder cover, I'm using a little two cover. I make it two times to make it strong and thick to make my you know our room look this nice because um the packages these packages this packages of paper uh scrapbooking paper I I purchased in yellow and they come in several designs and several style of paper some of them are classy, but they are thin. So when you make the cover album, it wasn't that good at all. So the one would print paper like this, like particular design. Or this one, this patch and design, the paper heavier and thicker. So it's, it's good for making the cover and making the border. When I just find out when I apply a second coat of cover, the best way to make your album look nice is by using the double side tape instead of, you know, the liquid glue because um, the liquid glue make your paper become soggy and then, you know, it's, um, it's, we get more bubble. I find out when you're using double side tape is the best. So that's why I, when I'm doing my final touch, the final inside cover like this, and binding up my paper or the album paper, I use double side tape as well. So that's all for now. I know the instruction of this uh, last um, video wasn't that great, but um, hope you um, 
get some idea about how the um, album home make look like. So this looks like this. Vertical is the best to holding this particular picture. And this is the full cover. The front and the back. I may write down the detail of and taking the picture of um, the cover again for you to view at the end of this uh, video. Alright, thanks for watching.